everyone in this video we are going to learn how we can configure the dscp server for multiple vlan okay so i will take this server and then after that what we will do here we will take the layer 3 switch if you see this is a layer 3 switch i am using and then we have the normal switch and then we have the multiple machine here okay and then we can connect let me take this cable and we can connect from this server to this to switch from here all the machine then we need to create multiple vlan here and we will configure the dscp server for multiple vlan we can say we have the vlan 10 20 and then after that we will do the configuration so i will take this here we can say this is for vlan 10 and this one for vlan 20 so this configuration we will do here inside the switch we will go and we will do the configuration here let me do the initial configuration in this switch i will write enable config t host name i will change the host name as sw1 and then i will create the vlan 10 for it and vlan 20 for hr then we can assign the port i can say this port you can see f0 by 1 i will configure this as a trunk f0 by 1 switch port more trunk then after that what i will do here i will assign the interface range f0 by 4 dash 5 in the vlan 10 this one we will put in the vlan 10 here i will write this is for vlan 10 name it and we can say this one subnet we will use 192.168.10.0 slash 24 and this one we will use for vlan 20 i will give here vlan 20 name hr and subnet we are going to use 192.168.20.0 slash 24 okay and you can see here what we have this interface f0 by 5 f0 by 4 is in vlan 10 f0 by 3 and 2 is in vlan 20 so here i selected f0 by 4 f0 by 5 i will make this first i will put this as a axis then i will write switch port mode axis then switch port axis vlan 10 then i will write here interface range f0 by 2 dash 3 switch port mode axis switch port axis vlan 20 so now we have the two vlan i can save the configuration and i have one interface as a trunk also so if you want i can write show interface trunk i can see here we have the trunk f0 by 1 here you can see this is a mode is on and this one 802.1q encapsulation we are using and here all vlans allow here we have vlan 1 10 20 so here we can say trunk is configured and we can check vlan is also configured or not we configure two VLAN, VLAN 10 and 20. These two ports are in VLAN 10. These two ports are in VLAN 20. And I will go to this switch. And here what I will do here. In this one, I will write no and then enable config T host name. We are going to change here as a SW2. Here also I need to create VLAN 10. I will create then VLAN 20. I need to create name. I will give HR. And the interface we need to put as a trunk all the interface here because one interface is connecting to the server another interface is connecting to the other switch so i will write here switch port mode switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q switch port mode trunk i configure trunk here and also we need to do the inter vlan here so i will write interface vlan 10 i will configure here ip address 192.168.10.1 give space 255.255.0 I will write no shut here then interface vlan 20 i will do for vlan 20 because i am doing very fast already you know this one already we completed one sample that's why i am doing this very fast here okay so this one for <coughs> vlan 20 so i will write 20.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut here and for vlan 1 we are not using but anyhow i will use this subnet for vlan 1 also 192.168 1.1 give space 255.255.255.0 no shut okay so what i done i just assign the ip address to the interface if you check show interface show ip interface brief 
just i assign the ip here inside the vlan this one we are calling inter vlan so different vlan can communicate when we do like this and this should be the gateway to all this machine okay so now we don't have the dscp here still configure so let me configure let me put this in vlan 1 i will give here the ip is 1.2 this one we can say like a this is a dscp server so i will write here dscp server okay this is a dscp server and then we will go to desktop we will assign the ip here and gateway we will give as a 1.1 because we told here 1.1 will be the gateway dns we don't have but anyhow i will give 8.8.8 .8 .8. see here what i am doing here i am doing the dscp server configuration in this one so before doing the dscp configuration we need to assign the ip to the server then go to dscp and you can make the power on here and this is for vlan 1 the server whatever the default configuration is there i save so this is for vlan 1 what is present just you need to click power on and whatever the default you have here you need to put the gateway so i will edit this here will be gateway as we told gateway will be 192.168.1.1 1.1 dns we are not using but i will write here 8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and this all will be remain same default setting i am using this is for vlan 1 now i need to create one more pool so i will write here like uh, vlan 10 and this pool will be vlan 10 okay everything is okay i will add here so this pool is for vlan 10 and then what we have here we have here 20 and this is 20 and here i am changing 20 and this one i will add so vlan 10 20 and vlan 1 we have three pool we created here in the dscp server now here what we need to do we need to put the ip helper command in all the vlan so i will go here interface vlan 1 ip helper address and we need to give the ip address of the which vlan the server whatever ip you have to the server if you see this server is having 192.168.1.2 so we need to configure that and then do the same thing why we are putting this one because we need the ip helper command if you don't have ip helper command then the uh, layer 3 device will be drop that one what he will drop the multicast traffic broadcast traffic they will drop so broadcast traffic they will drop so we need to put the ip helper command so i am putting the ip helper command and also we need to enable here ip routing okay so this is a configuration in the layer 3 switch this is simple what i done first i do inter vlan here and we configure the dscp server here and then we put the ip helper command in all the interface whatever vlan we are using vlan 1 10 20 i enable the routing feature and now we can go and check we are getting the ip or not from the dscp so we need to wait for some time then you will get the ip from the dscp server and see here still it is not working we can wait and check again if it is not coming we need to do the troubleshooting but you see it is working now we get this pc from vlan 10 from this server same thing you can go here you can do here for vlan 10, this pc also you will get 10.11 and if you do here you will get from where vlan 20 you will get so you are getting from vlan 20 and here if you go and you check here here you will get again from vlan 20 see here you are getting the ip from vlan 20 so this we configure the dscp in the dscp server for multiple vlan this is a procedure we are using okay if you have any confusion any doubt let me know in the comments thank you bye